everyone, it's Jamie Leslie up in Shetland here on the 6th of August 2020. Trying to do a short video about lamb weaning. We weaned all the lambs last days of July. So that would have been the um, average age of 90 days. We do that purely to get the ewes onto some kind of rougher rougher areas of the farm. The ewes don't need much that time of year once they're dried off. The lambs aren't getting much in terms of nutrition from their mothers, so wean them off, put the lambs in the best grass we can, and put the ewes onto some rougher stuff to dry them off and they can regain condition ready for topping in the back end. So there's 300 lambs in this batch, mostly Suffolk's, a few Romneys and Clins too. These are kind of the mid mid-weight lambs, we've got lighter lambs in a different rotation, we've got the lambs that are just nearly fat and ready to go on their own as well just for ease of handling. We've got a batch of 65 lambs away straight off their mothers, 18 kilos dead weight which we're quite happy with with the way the price is at the moment. The lambs that we showed you earlier on in the summer, some of them will be in amongst these, the leader follower type lambs. And they've averaged about 325 grams per day growth from birth through to weaning at 90 days old. And that's pretty respectable for quite a lot of twins in those mobs. So these lambs will be in this paddock for another probably three or four days. And we'll move them on. It's pretty strong grass. Uh, the trick for us this time of year is not to make them eat everything at all. So if they even not just eat down to 1800, that'll do us fine. The grass this time of year isn't trying to seed and reproduce as much as it does in late spring and early summer. So we can get away with leaving that grass for the next round without losing too much quality. By getting these lambs on decent grass and not making them tidy up, we can just about negate a weaning check and I would hope that these would be doing well over 250 to 300 grams a day at the moment.